Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today we're gonna be creating this fun little pumpkin spread inside of my Happy Planner. I've had this idea for a few weeks now and I couldn't quite figure out how to execute it, but I found a way and I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna create it. It's not perfect, but man, I love the way it turned out. So let's go ahead and dive in and I will show you guys how I created this super cute pumpkin spread. So I went to Hobby Lobby and searched for a pumpkin stencil and then I was actually just going to draw the eyelashes on after I did the stencil but I couldn't find one. I did however find a create your own stencil kit so I grabbed it and when I got home I hopped on Etsy and I found the design that we're actually going to create for this spread. I printed it off and then I traced it onto the create your own stencil kit. I cut it out and then that's the stencil we're going to be using. Now I didn't film that process because it was my first time creating my own stencil. I wasn't sure if I was doing it right and I didn't want to have to worry about trying to film it, making sure I got everything in the in the screen because I, I am bad about <laughs> having things off the screen and you guys are like, well, Ashley, I can't see. Sorry. All right, we're, we're trial and error here. We're figuring this out as we go. Uh, so I didn't film it, but if you guys want to see how I created that stencil, I will be more than happy to create another stencil and show you guys that process. Now that I've done it once, I'm not an expert by any means, but I'll be more than happy to show you how I did it. Now what I'm doing here, um, I actually pulled my planner out because I thought I had the wrong week, the wrong two sets of pages, but I had the right ones. And so what I'm going to do here is tape these two together, then we'll flip them over, we'll add the stencil on top. That way the pumpkin is in the center of both pages. Now I actually created this exact same layout on an expired planner so I used like an old planner that I had and I went through and tried it just to make sure it was going to work to see how bad the bleed through was to see um, if I messed up the stencil if I needed to fix it before I put it into my planner that I will be using it turned out fantastic on that other spread but it did kind of bleed some here and it kind of messed up a little bit which I tried to fix and you'll see that here in just a little bit but what I did here was like I said I taped the pages together and then here I'm going to take the stencil and I'm going to tape it down. And like I said, I used it before so that's why there's already the orange and the black on there. paints I'm going to be using are acrylic and the first one that I have is this craft smarter the color is orange and then I have Anita's acrylic craft paint this one is in blush brown and then I have black in the craft smarter acrylic paint like I said I did try this inside of a different planner and I'm just going to use that same paper plate that I used before for the paint and I'm going to take the orange and the blush brown and I'm going to mix them together because I want it I want it to like darken up that bright orange but also kind of lighten up the blush brown if that makes sense. I just like the way these two colors turned out together. I thought they were really pretty. And then the black, I just used black. I did not mix it with anything. Okay, now we're gonna get into the fun stuff. We are going to start stamping our stencil. Now, when you're using a stencil, what you don't wanna do is grab a paintbrush, dip it in your paint, and then start painting your stencil because that's gonna create a lot of bleed through. Now, I know I showed in the intro that this had some bleed through and I'm gonna explain why here in just a minute. But anytime you're stenciling, you wanna use well, I guess you don't have to. There's definitely other brushes. My favorite is the sponge brushes. I think they work the best. You can use whatever you have on hand, no big deal. But what you want to do is dip your brush into the paint and then you want to dab off like 98% of the paint. Either dab it off onto the plate that you have, the paper. I actually also have a, a paper towel to the right of me. It's kind of cut off on the screen there. But I have a paper towel and I'm dabbing it into the paper towel as well. You want to get off a lot of that excess paint. 
You do not want this to be super saturated. Earlier I mentioned having a lot of bleed through. And the reason why this is happening is not from stamping, it is from the stencil not being completely adhered to the page. So I love, absolutely love stenciling wood. It turns out so good, I love it so much. But the reason why I really love it is because with when you're stenciling wood, you can take a really mild adhesive spray. You can spray your stencil and stick it to the wood. And then you stencil it, you know, you use your paint and you stamp it, and then you take it off and there's no bleed through. But we can't be using even a mild adhesive spray on paper because it's literally gonna rip whenever you peel up the stencil. So the bleed through is coming from the stencil not being completely adhered to the page. So if you try this, there is some bleed through. Typically that's why, especially whenever you have stencils that have a lot of smaller edges that are lifting up as you pull your, your brush up or you know whatever you decide to use. So that's usually where the bleed through is coming from. So I did the orange on the eyelashes, the tip of the nose, and the corners of the mouth. And now I'm going back in with the black to fill in the rest. Again, I'm doing the same method. We're gonna dip it into the paint, dab off the excess, and then stamp the stencil. Now I'm gonna go in with the orange and I'm gonna start blending the orange and the black together because I don't want any harsh lines. Again, using the same method, we're gonna dip it in the paint, dab off the excess, stamp your stencil. That needs to become like a, a quote on a t-shirt or something. Dip, dab, stamp. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Dip, dab, stamp. You guys are gonna be thinking of that every time you stamp and I want you to think of it. Dip it, dab it, stamp it. All right, now we get to take this stencil up, and this had been setting here drying for a couple of minutes. So I did tape the stencil down, like I said earlier, to help hold it in place. I didn't tape every little piece of it down, but I did tape some of it down, so now we're gonna take it up, and you guys will see the reveal. Look at how stinking cute. Ashley, move your arm, we're trying to look. Look at how cute that is. I just love it. Even though it's not perfect, 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 
there's a T there. Even though it's not perfect, I really do like the way it turned out. The blending turned out really cute. I love that too. Here I'm taking off another piece of tape that I had down at the bottom. Also, here's a nice little tip. If you do get that create your own stencil kit and you make your own stencil, don't get it so close to the bottom like I did because whenever you start um, stamping, you know, after you dip, dab, stamp, it's going to go off onto the page. So kind of pull it up from the bottom some if that makes sense. So here I'm going to go in with a paintbrush and I'm going to try to smooth out those lumps from where it had bled through. I did not do the best job ever with this, but that's okay. Like I said, I love the way it turns out. So now I'm going to take the yellow cardstock, I'm going to fold it in half because it does have some paint on it. And then we're going to lay the pages back down. We're going to let them fully dry and then I'm going to take them apart. Now I'm going to flip it over, we're going to peel off the tape. And I just use tape that you would use to like wrap Christmas presents or I don't know, tape an envelope shut. It's nothing fancy, it's just, it's just tape. Okay, there we go. That is my pumpkin spread. I am so thankful that this idea come to fruition because I love it so much. It turned out so stinking cute. Again, let me know if you guys want to see how I created this stencil. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Come hang out with me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video.